Welcome back to Let's Play Rose Shard. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, I'm kind of surprised this series has made it to episode 20. This game is uh, more involved than I expected. I'm pleasantly surprised, I should you know, clarify. Where am I going? We're here in the mine that they built the uh, Zeronimo Casino on top of. Oh. Rad. You know, I'm just gonna... Oh, the thing didn't pop up. Ah, it's doing it again! I hit Shift-Tab and nothing happens except, you know, the keyboard controls, because, uh... Yeah, I guess Shift is how you uh, turn on the low-gravity mode on PC controls. Lame! Well, it did say screenshot saved, so I don't know, maybe it's just doing it without showing me the uh, interface. And since I was just standing there blabbing at it, I will be able to grab any frame I like out of the uh, raw footage. <laughs> oh! I know it's low gravity, but surely there's a height you could fall from at moon gravity where you'd still hurt your legs. Who's there? It's John Rochard, baby! That solves that problem in a big way. Make the bodies dance. Sorry. I had all that without touching the ground, and I feel really awesome about that. No! Wait! Oh, I don't get any jump height from... Oh, oh, I made it, I made it. I didn't... Huh, okay. I guess it's just hard to see up there. Oh, fuck. I didn't even see that guy there. He took away half my health with two shots. Wait, what the hell? Okay, there it is, there it is. The, uh, the the guideline wasn't appearing for a bit for some reason. Never mind. Oops. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck this. Oh, it's another mining machine. They just left this thing down here? Oh, good. Crawling under a big machine. It's not like that's, you know, a nightmare or anything. Oh. Uh. That's just dangerous, dude. Put that down. Huh. I would say, uh, offhand that this looks like the place. John! Skylar, you okay? Coxina! Thirty years I've waited for this! Really does have short legs. Finally, my journey is complete! No, Maximilian, don't touch the statue! You don't know what you're dealing with! Ihuan, Ihuan! Yehono, Machihua! No! <laughs> <laughs> Your weapons are useless against me! Confirmed. John, they are somehow connected. The figures, the disc, and now Maximilian. What do you know? You can't scan those. One down. Whoa! I think that's the first time I've ever actually died from falling damage. John. Skylar, no. you okay? Coxina. <laughs> Your weapons are useless against Oh. 
strong. They are somehow connected. The figures, the disc, and now Maximilian. Resistance is futile, John. Where have I heard that before? Oh no. One down. Gravity lensing. That sucks. Low gravity mode. No. Just give up, John. Hello, what's this? Your efforts are futile, John. Halfway there. Keep at it. Ah. Uh, no. You know what's funny? Everyone who's ever told that to me ended up dead. Just saying, buddy, you are not my first boss fight. Oh. Good call. Here's a little for you. No, it wasn't. Ah, uh, ah! Uh. What did he get there? I'm the good guy. It's in my contract. You cannot win! Just one more to go. You are insignificant, John. Suck it. John, get the disc. Plug it into the Helga. What? What are you talking about? Just do it. Into my G lifter? Press X to get the disc. Oh, damn. A perfect fit. No! Oh, what have you done? Get away from the disc! It's mine! Oh, shit! Where are you, you big shit? Damn it. Damn it! Yes! Oh, hey, my health. My health is bad. Get out of there. Yeah, just pull me way up here out of the way, and it will be great. Okay. Where are you, you big fuck? On the level geometry, is that it? Oh, damn, I can barely draw a bead on him with all these stupid explosions going off. That's not gonna work. No, bye. Okay? I guess. Skylar, how the hell do you know the disc would work with the Helga? Alien, Skyrig, anti-gravity, and Maximilian. Let me guess. It's all connected. Yes, it's all connected. Fifty years ago, Skyrig had a mine in Arizona on Native American land. They found something, and Maximilian was part of it. How'd you find out? Uncle Floyd was there too. Where is Floyd? That sound! Whoa! That's not good! No! Well. Welcome to the credits video.
for Let's Play Rochard. Like I said, I was pretty sure it was coming. But uh, I am very pleased by how long this game lasted and by how uh, much there was to do in it. Even the boss fight was cool. Like a lot of puzzle games, the end of like a con confrontation at this kind of... Eh. <laughs> Grinders Blue is written and performed by Poets of the Fall. Oh, the voiceover coordinator cast herself as Skylar. I liked this game. Oh god, I can hear Poets of the Fall now, look in the voice. Dumb grin in my face. Just my demons and I alone. <laughs> Yeah, the mechanics in this game were uh, a snap to figure out, uh, but they combined in really interesting ways, and they came up with all kinds of neat shit to do in the in the environment with them. And all those little hidden uh, trophies around the thing. I felt so goddamn brilliant for finding so many of them. Watch it turn out that I found like 50 out of 700 of them. <laughs> oh, that's right. This uh, started off exclusive to the PlayStation Network. And now it's exclusive to nowhere. I meant to look up whether it's actually still available on PSN. I just heard that uh, Sony announced and then quickly, you know, retracted plans to uh, shut down the PlayStation Store on PS Vita and PS3. So technically, that'll still be there. I think they're still shutting down like multiplayer servers and stuff on PS3, but you will still be able to buy games on the store. Yeah, the characters are. Uh fun. The, uh, the storyline was a bit silly, but it was uh, easy to follow. And uh, all things considered, I had a pretty good time. You normally put a recommendation here, but I guess it doesn't matter, since the only way you can get your hands on this game at this point is uh, piracy. <clears throat> but uh, if, let's say, Captain Jack Sparrow does show up at your house and give you a copy of... Uh, of Rochard, out of the goodness of your heart. Of his heart, I should say. Uh, yeah, I would recommend you play this game if you're into, you know, if you're into side-scrolling puzzle stuff. It's not the most demanding game in the world. You can be a bit goofy and floaty. And I feel like that's exactly what I needed after uh, Darksiders 3. I'm not crazy about it ending on a cliffhanger like that, because as I said at the beginning of this, 
Mm, excuse me. As I've said, uh, one, this game came out a decade ago. Two, the developer has gone under. And three, they're not selling it anymore, so the odds of there ever being a sequel are, let's say, slim to none. So I guess we don't just go... We just don't get to find out what happened to John Rochard, and I don't think Skylar had a last name now that I think about it. Lame. But still, I had a lot of fun getting to that point, and at least we got closure by shutting down Maximilian. Okay, maybe we got sucked into a hole in space, but... In the end, we saved the universe from Max, and that's really what matters, isn't it? Besides, I'm sure that John and Skylar are fine. They're probably just hanging out with the Katsina spirits, or whatever the aliens call themselves. I didn't even have time to make a joke that the statue we were looking for was going to be, by totally by coincidence, an exact, uh... <laughs> replica of Andre the Giant. Why? Because he hasn't been relevant in a very long time, and I find that funny. Just kind of hoping for an after credit scene. But I guess not! But I also look at this. But first, I want to do something else. Jump cut. Hey, I'm inserting this bit in a jump cut, because I've noticed that when I go to start from chapter, it tells me how many trophies I've missed. And I did great! I only missed six of them! That's fantastic! Wonder if Darksiders made me better at hunting down hidden objects. <laughs> Back to what I was saying. Okay. I quit the game and restarted it, and this time it looks like the interface is working. Achievement unlocked, you're fired, defeat Maximilian. As ever, let's see the achievements I didn't get. Let's see. Since it appears not all of them have shown up... Uh, electrocute a human enemy, kill an enemy with an object shot with G-Lifter. Kill an enemy by falling on him, kill a human enemy with deflected bullets. I wasn't sure if I ever did that. Uh... Kill a human enemy with another enemy's body. Kiss me deadly. Yes! That one! Uh, I got a comment about me doing that on another video. It was K.O.R. who left that comment. Shout out! And, uh... You know, I was confused with that because I hadn't seen the thing pop up, and I had seen that achievement on the list. Alright, so, let's see. Bowling. Kill an enemy with an object shot with G-Lifter. Death from above. Kill an enemy by falling on him. Unfriendly fire. Killing a human enemy with deflected bullets. Kiss me deadly. Kill a human enemy with another enemy's body. Electrified. Electrocute. Oh, electrified. <laughs> Electrocute a human enemy. Pack rat. Collect all upgrades. Second amendment. Kill 100 enemies using the rock blaster. 25% gold collectibles found. Find. Collect 25% of all gold collectibles. 50% gold collectibles found, collect 50% of all gold collectibles, and you're fired. Since I didn't get... Uh, death on delivery. Kill 100 enemies using enemy objects shot or dropped with G-Lifter. Say hello to my little friend. Kill two or more enemies with a single exploding mechanical enemy. 100% gold collectibles found. Self-explanatory speed run. Complete the game in three hours or less. And, uh, let's see... Oh, and I believe these ones, yeah, there's four levels in Hard Times, and there's an achievement for beating each of them. Container Chaos, sh uh, Shaft Shuffle, and Brain Yard, and Assembly Line. Maybe I'll take a look. Oh, I don't actually have this! <laughs> a mistake? Oh, okay. I didn't realize this was, uh... Oh, that's what. Okay, my confusion came from the fact that uh, I didn't see a buy thing. So I guess yeah, it's once again I can't get it. So I can't get those achievements ever because at the request of the publisher, Rochard Hard Times is no longer available for sale on Steam. Just like the uh, main game. I 
did see there that apparently I have spent 8.8 .8 hours here, so I feel like it wasn't going to happen anyway, that speedrun achievement. Well, with that done, then, I guess that'll about do it. I'm Burning Dogface, and on behalf of myself, John Rochard, Skyler, and, uh, let's see. Oh, yes, Skyler's Uncle Floyd and the late Xander. I thank you for joining me for Let's Play Rochard. If they ever do a sequel to this game, amazingly, uh, I'll be there. Till then, I hope you've enjoyed this series. Hope you've enjoyed coming along this journey with me. And I hope you'll join me for my next video series. Have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later!